What's going on everybody? My name is Repvile. Now you might be wondering, Repvile, why are you naked sitting on a tech creature that doesn't exist in this version of Ark? And where the hell did you get that mask? Well friends, I got it from the same place that I got that griffin that shouldn't be in the game yet. In the same place as this fine beast. And I'm going to show you how to get him. So guys, there's a lot of things in the game that aren't really supposed to be available to us yet. Like the bionic creatures, the tech creatures. And that's a real damn shame, man. I know... There's a lot of people out there probably jealous that you, the other versions have the tech creatures and bone and all this other stuff that, you know, we can't get yet. So I've been experimenting a lot with some summon commands just to see what, you know, what might be in the game that we just don't know is there yet. And I've uncovered a lot of, like, interesting things. And there's a lot of, like, weird stuff too. Um, I'll show you in a little while, but some things act like they summon in, but they're not really there. It's really bizarre. Right now, I'm just I'm making some armor to put on because I'm going to show you the uh, the birthday suit skin here. Now this is something that is available to everybody. Uh, you just need to achieve a certain rank in game, a certain level. Once you get past that, you you should unlock the achievement. I think it's the maximum survivor achievement. At least on the other consoles, it's called maximum survivor achievement. Um, you should still get the unlock, even though we don't have trophies or anything on the Switch. So that's the command right there. As you can see, no pants, no shirt, just some pixelated boobs. So you might have been wondering where I got that skull from in the intro. Now, as far as I know, that's only available when you defeat Rockwell on Aberration. I wouldn't even have thought this would have been in here yet, but oddly enough, there it is. And it looks awesome. It's just a little bit strange that we don't have access to Aberration yet, yet I can summon some of the things from it. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to make a video here. So here's a couple of weird things. Um, I don't know the exact story behind it, but the only way to get this stuff is to summon it in. I would have thought they would have taken it out of this version of Ark, but... There it is anyways. So it is some type of artifact, and there's, there's two of these snow globes. Um... The weird thing about them, you can't really do anything with them. If you try to put them on a pedestal or something, they don't, they won't go into the pedestal. So I don't know if this is something that was in an earlier release that they took out, or something that was planned and they just never followed through with. I'm not really sure what the story is with those. All right, so this is the super test meet. Again, I don't know what the story is behind it. It must have been like a developer thing when they were kind of just working on the game. If you look at it, it is kind of funny to read. Just telling you that something that you shouldn't have. And you can eat it. So let's say you're tired of riding around on dinos. You want something else. I got something for you. Rip Files got your hookup. Alright, let's just get it out of the uh, the inventory here. Where are we going to put it? I guess that's as good a place as any. <laughs> Look at this thing. So on the other versions of Ark, I, do, I think you can get this by beating the, uh, the alpha version of the Overseer. And probably in here too. But, you know, just use the summon command you can get it earlier if you want. Honestly, the thing is kind of a big piece of crap. The wheels don't even move on it. It just looks really bizarre and stupid. It'll be fun for a few minutes and then you're probably going to lose it somewhere. Alright, so like I said, I have been kind of playing around with the commands to see what is in the game and what's not. Uh, this is some type of test skin that was given out to beta testers. You try to summon it here, it doesn't work. Let's try to experiment a little bit more, see what this one does. Should be another type of helmet skin, I think. Nothing. That does nothing either. I know what you're thinking. Rip file, get to the point. Let's get to the griffin. Well, here you guys go. You can thank me later. So this one was kind of a shock to me. When I first got this game, I tried spawning a bunch of things from Scorch Earth. I couldn't get anything to work, but... Uh, a viewer mentioned that he was able to spawn one in, so, you know, recently I tried it and it's working, so, I mean, everything's, 
fully functional on him. It's just, it's a little bit bizarre that I can spawn him in. As you'll see in a moment, spawning some other things in from Scorched Earth has some different results. Let's see what happens when we summon a Jaboa. Oh, success, right? We summon the Jerboa, and he's tamed. Except he's invisible. Where's the little son of a bitch? Got me. I have no idea where he is. Let's try something else. How about a Mantis? We tamed a Mantis. How about that? Again, he's also invisible. What's weird about these things, they will fight, um, and they will die. It's just, they're not there. It's really bizarre. Now for perhaps the strangest one of all of them. Let's do another one. Two death worms. So you see the sand animation, and you see that they attack. So they killed me and my Jerboa. My invisible Jerboa. And right now my griffin is attacking them, so they're fighting. But they're not there. <laughs> I can't explain it. As you can see here, I'm on the uh, I'm on the griffin. I'm attacking the death worm. And if you look close, I don't know if you can see it, but there is some blood spatter. So I know at least a few of you are wondering, what about, you, you didn't spawn a wyvern yet. What's that going to look like? Let's find out. Another shocker. Invisible wyvern tamed. Where he is, I have no idea. Oh, I think we're about to find out, though. Come here, you little sons of bitches. Come on. Have at you. <laughs> Look who got the kill. Yeah, maybe we'll have more luck if we try something from Aberration. How about a Carno? Wow. Look at that. There is an aberrant Carno. Sort of. He doesn't have the skin on him. It's odd that it does say aberrant Carno, though. And if we summon some of the other aberrant characters, they'll do the same thing. They'll spawn just like this without the skin. Well, let's try a corrupted Carno. Hell, that might be in here, right? Nope. No corrupted creatures. All right, let's try a Ravager next. Looks like it summoned. He's also invisible. Just for hell of it, I thought I'd try this one, and... Nothing. That one doesn't work at all. All right, guys, we all have dodos, right? How about a zombie dodo? Son of a bitch. Look at that. And he's got the skin on him too. Oh, yes. Hello there, my little friend. Now everybody wants to know how to get the tech creatures. This is not the way. Because it doesn't work. You want a bone creature? Guess what? Doesn't work either. Alright, no problem. We're just gonna have to try something else. Let me just prepare a couple creatures for a minute. Get a couple Rexes out here. And a couple Raptors too. You guys stay there. Oh, they're so cute. 
So I promised you guys some cool stuff. Here you go. Let's summon some bone skins for our Rex. There it is in our inventory. Let's give our Raptor one also. Hell, let's give the Karna one too. We'll have a whole army here of bones. Alright guys, let's see what it looks like. Oh, that is fantastic. <laughs> Who's going to be the lucky winner? How about you? I love these skins. And the Carno. There we go. Now let's get ourselves some tech dinos. Bionic Rex. Bionic Raptor. Got him. What's up, buddy? Just stay there for a minute. This won't hurt a bit. Bam! Oh yeah. Well, that was that's what has been missing so far. I love them tech creatures. So the best part of this, you're not gonna have to pay for the damn skins like Wildcard is trying to charge on the other consoles. I think it's only like a dollar a skin, but I mean, come on, when you can just summon it in, why would you pay a dollar for it? Alright guys, I think that just about does it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Hope you uh, have fun with your new skins and, you know, get the crack and see what you guys can summon. Maybe you can summon something cool that I missed. And if you guys have a few minutes, maybe check out some of my other videos. As always, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. See ya.